Rivers, sea and mountains dominate the landscape of eastern Tasmania. From landscape and history to food and culture, Australia's island state is a feast for travellers. Down south at the historic site of Port Arthur is where we make our first stop. This magnificently preserved penal colony is a powerful reminder of Australia's early history. From 1833 until the 1850s, Port Arthur was a destination for criminals who committed a second offence after their arrival in Australia. Conditions were harsh, an escape almost impossible. With rough seas and shark infested waters on three sides, there was only one way to escape, through Eagle Neck, a thin strip of land that joins the Tasman Peninsula to the mainland. But Eagle Neck was heavily guarded, and to escape, only a thin possibility. The major prison, known as the penitentiary, was located near the waterfront. Most prisoners were kept here, and it was the largest building in Australia at the time of its construction. It was originally built by tradesmen convicts to be a flour mill. When it was converted into a penitentiary in the 1850s, it housed more than 600 prisoners in dormitories and cells. It was so cold and damp in the cells that moss covered the walls and convicts had only one thin blanket to protect them against the cold and wet winters. During this time, a new philosophy in institutions saw the light. It basically argued that isolation and separation would produce moral reform. Inmates were subjected to sensory deprivation and extreme isolation. Prisoners that were not kept in solitary confinement were used in hard labour, such as stone cutting and construction. 